EasyMont.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. It's easy, fast, legit. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go have the fun you want. Get the team you want. Get the coins that you want. All right, guys, we are back. Top 10 running back, short and to the point. If you enjoyed me not wasting your time, hit the like button. It really supports the channel and the video. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new. Up next, we got Brown and we got Harris. This is number 10. This is Williams. Williams, guys, he's going to be fine for his price. The Excel and the speed are not the best, but he does have 85 trucking and brake tackle. Those are thresholds you need. And guess what? He is going to be able to make some type of difference, right? So is he the best? No, that's why he's number 10. There's just not 10 dominant running backs right now. Let's keep it moving. Number nine is a step faster. He just is. And I will say his stiff arm being over 85 means he's going to get way better stiff arm animations than Jamal. Absolutely not. Uh, he is going to be passed because of his price, but he's still number nine. I can't just take him off the list because of his price. He does have goal line back. I don't think it's worth two AP, but let's keep it moving. Up next, we got Chase, guys. Now, this guy here for 90K, 87 Excel, 86 speed. You could have got this guy free by just grinding the game. And it's pretty good speed for a free card. His juke and spin are not the best. His break tackles are not the best. But he's just a speed back. Get him to the outside, like on a toss or something like that. You throw a screen to him. But that's really it. That's about all you can say about this guy. Up next, Walker is better. I'm going to tell you why. Break tackle 85 is a threshold. He hits it. He's going to break way more tackles than Chase. And his juke being over 85 is nice. So yes, he is going to be an upgrade from Chase. If you're looking to upgrade your Chase, here you go. Um, if you need two faster budget guys, then get both of them. Up next, we got the bus. I love this card. His AKA is not overpowered. Do not worry about that. It's nothing special, but he has over 85 trucking brake tackle. This guy's a bowling ball and he's hard to take down. Now there's a couple times you're gonna be in the game and you'll be running right at someone and you wish you could just run him over. This guy does because he's over 250 pounds. I love him. I love him. He gets bulldozer, so it does make him unique when it comes to trucking. So when you put him versus like a Stevenson, it's a different world because of the ability. The X Factor does help. It doesn't stay lit very long, but I will say trucking people with him it's easy up next we got wilson here guys look at the excel 89 excel is nice his juke is good but what does he give you he doesn't really give you any good abilities um i like him better than the bus just in the situation of getting to the outside acceleration is a big difference plus five acceleration is quite a bit now uh obviously if you're just trying to run somebody over Bus is going to be better, but I will say that this guy here, for his price, he's overpriced. I would not be spending that much on him. Let's keep it moving. I got Fred Taylor over him because of Jukebox. Jukebox is amazing. His juke and spin feels good. His cod feels good. You can really zigzag with this guy pretty well. Jukebox, guys, is going to make the difference on why you should get this car. He is so much better than everyone on this list I just mentioned because of Jukebox. Jukebox is what you need. Go get him. You're going to love him. You're on the theme team and get him a little bit faster. It will help quite a bit. Let's see who number three is. Number three is going to be Harris, guys. Harris has good speed, but his Juke and Spin is not the best. And not having Jukebox on this guy is not good, right? He's a bulldozer kind of guy, and you can get bulldozer on him. You can run people over. So basically, he's just a faster Bettis, right? Because Bettis has AKA X Factor doesn't really mean that much. It doesn't do that much. But this guy, he's just fast and he runs people over. And sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need those extra yards. Sometimes somebody's gonna be running straight at you and you can run them over. But in a situation you need the Duke, you're not gonna like this guy very much. Uh, his agility below 85, it's not good, guys. Uh, however, he is still going to be good because of his speed, especially on a thing to imagine 90 XL. Let's see who number two is. Number two is going to be Swift, and it's because he gets jukebox. So he's on, 
move way better than Harris, but obviously Harris is not truck people. But this guy here, yeah, I just did a video on him yesterday. Go check it out if you want to see him in action. And I'm doing a video on Harris next, so stay tuned for that. I will say that this card is just going to be that good. Uh, as far as jukebox, he's just going to be upgraded. Fred Taylor, he's going to be faster. And his spin is not the best. His trucking is not the best. But guys, with jukebox, you can do a lot of damage. Number one is bow, and it's not close. Speed, trucking, juking, everything. This guy does everything. He catches the ball. He doesn't drop open passes. You name it, he gets bulldozer and jukebox. Put jukebox on him. And this guy here is going to be the best running back in the game. If you run a budget team and you just run the ball, sell players, go get Bo, you'll be happy. If you run a budget team and you only pass the ball, sell your players and go get Vic, you'll be happy. All right? So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. I was top 10 running back straight to the point. I didn't waste your time. So subscribe, hit the like button. You know what's coming up next? Harris Gameplay and A.J. Brown. I'll see you then.